Hello there and a very warm welcome back here to Eurovision 365. I say welcome back because if you've been here before it's great to have you back but if this is your first time thanks so much for stopping by and pressing play and I hope to see you again of course. If this is your first time let me know in the comments below where you're from and uh, your thoughts generally speaking on the Eurovision but more particularly the song from Moldova which I'm about to react to. I should say as well a very warm welcome to you. Hello 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 if you're watching us from and in Moldova it's so great to have you here i mentioned moldova because as i say i'm going to react to the winning song in moldova and this is her actually uh, the performer who natalia who is going to represent moldova once again at the contest now moldova have had i would say a decent enough record at the eurovision song contest people forget that they actually have qualified for the last three contests in a row and uh, deservedly so in my opinion certainly in 2022 that was an absolutely fantastic song and it was great to see them qualify now coming up now as i say is the winning song in moldova will this qualify will this do better than the 2022 entry will this do better than her first time round well there's only one way to find out shall we do this you and i yes we shall let's go So here it is, this is Natalia, back again. Natalia first appeared at Eurovision 2007, as I just said there. And placed 10th in 2007. It's been 17 years between appearances. That's one of, you know, uh, along the uh, record lines in terms of uh, distance between first and second performance or appearance it's not the record though this is what you'd expect I suppose from Natalia of course very big into playing the violin very accomplished player as well Crowder loving that you can hear that very traditional sound. Yes. I don't think the vocals are brilliant, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they're amazing. In the middle, of course, is the name of the song. I mean, it's a risky thing to discount Moldova at the Eurovision, actually, for qualifying. Because since 2017, they've only failed to qualify once. You hear the whistles in the crowd, they love that, they love this part. I don't know how accessible this song is outside of Moldova. You know, if you think of their song in 2022 from Dub sees Dub. Like I said, this lovely, lovely, classic kind of moment has been brought in. You know, we're playing the violins. Obviously, not playing that live. Not playing that live, of course. It's like a Queen of the Night moment there, isn't it? It's a bit of a mix of everything going on here. I'm not sure it's complimenting so much. That's it. That's it. It ends. It ends with a scream and a cry. And to the delight, actually, it sounds like from the people in Moldova. They, of course... I've selected uh, Natalia once more and like I said 17 years 17 years since Natalia first appeared uh, at the Eurovision back in Finland and I think this time around the song is okay 
as I was saying there, I think it's a mishmash of lots of different songs for me. I think it's okay. I think it's got a nice traditional feel to it. It's a bit classy whenever she plays the violin. I'm not so sure if everything together works. And again, I'm not so sure how accessible this song would be outside of Moldova or surrounding nations. So, although I say it's it's a risky thing to discount Moldova from qualifying based on their recent records, I would be um, fearful, shall we say, fearful that it may not happen, it may not qualify. But that being said, things can change on the big stage in Malmo. Lots of performers elevate their stage and the momentum and the moment makes people rise to location, I think. And I would certainly imagine that there'd be a lot of emphasis on the stage. And I personally think they need to drop the, the backing performers from the playing the violins. I don't think it looks... Um, realistic for me but that's a that's a minor thing so they may keep the main not the main up but if i was in charge i would say nope get rid of the the backing singers playing the violins because everybody knows you're not really playing them for a start but anyway um that's my thoughts so uh between now and the eurovision it's time for one more thing from me and that is my rating on the slide performance so my rating out of 10 based on the slide performance is Five out of ten. I'm sorry. I want to give that a higher score. I truly do, because uh, I do typically speak, and I do like the Moldovan songs at the Eurovision Song Contest. This year, I'm not vibing with it just as much. But that being said, things can change. Of course, they can. Uh, whenever we come to the live performance at the Eurovision and see how that scaled up and elevate it so that's my thought that's my score what's your thought what's your score let me know in the comments below your thoughts i look forward as always to reading those and uh, yeah thanks so much for joining me on this reaction i hope to see you again in the next video wherever that may be but between now and then you take care and uh, yeah take care bye bye